What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Georgia is at it again. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Georgia is at it again. Yeah. You see, you still have your semi here. Uh huh. I'm parked here for the weekend. I'm leaving out. I understand, sir, but according to Henry County Court 3 16 55, we cannot park your commercial vehicle on the property, sir. It's not blocking anybody, it's not bothering anybody, so I'm trying to understand. I knew you was coming back. I seen you when you left out, when you passed by here the first time. I was sitting here waiting on you. So, pretty much, uh, so what's, what's your name, sir? For why? Why? I live here. We're going to go ahead and proceed to the next step, sir. What's the next step? Is I'm just going to issue you court summons, sir. Court summons for what? For having your vehicle parked right here. It's about in my yard. kind of cold. So what do you want me to pay to park my truck for the week? Uh, you you got to park it somewhere where it's, uh, it's uh, authorized. This is Georgia. Georgia, you can't park a semi-truck on the side of the highway. You can't park a semi-truck on the side of the road. I run these this trailer and this truck across the country for things that you need in life. So you want me to come home, if I come home for a three-day weekend, to pay to park my truck somewhere else because of Georgia won't let me park my truck? anywhere when i'm not bothered anybody i have enough room in my yard to park my truck and y'all upset that i want to park my truck here at my house so if, when georgia pays for me to park my truck when i come home then i'll park my truck somewhere else well just, it's not georgia it's a henry county court state it does, can't park henry it. county is in what state uh -huh. henry county is in what state and and, and and by state law you cannot park your truck on the side of the road you will get a ticket right or wrong they go to the officer, ask the officer. Well, by county code, you cannot park your vehicle in a subdivision. When y'all pay to park my truck, then I will park my truck somewhere else. Until then, when I come home on my off time, I'm going to park my truck in my yard. Well, sir, if you continue to park your truck here, if I keep getting calls every time I Who's come calling you? That, who's well, calling what's you? The, what's the complaint? When you can tell me court? who's calling you, then I will tell you who I am. All you need to know is I live here. When you can figure out who's calling, then I will, I will, I will let you well, know. Once my report is done, you're more than welcome to do what is called an open record. Request, no, you, you coming to me with information, so I need information from you. You let me know who's calling you because so many people out here in this neighborhood does so much wrong. But y'all worrying about a guy like me who's not home. I'm normally gone two to three weeks at a time. I come home for three days to park my truck here so I can take a break. And y'all want to bother me, but you got so many crackheads running up and down these streets. So many times you hear bullets flying around through here. So many people, he has a dually a, and a trailer in his yard that he parks there. But y'all worrying about me who parking my truck in my own yard. And I knew you was going to bring the officer because you seen my fire on my, on my hip the last time you seen me. So I'm waiting on you. But I'm not moving my truck. I'm going to move my truck when I leave. So for every day that is here, sir, you understand, we could just start issuing for summons. Every day. Well, for every day y'all don't pay for my truck to be parked somewhere else, it's gonna be parked here because I can park here for free. Okay, sir. But all right. So it's just. Uh, right, let me let me go park on my right Please do. Drivers, what do you think about this right here? This confrontation right here of this, I guess, community officer. I guess. Because he had to go and bring the patrol with him. He's coming over here to ask this driver to literally move out of his private spot and take his semi-truck elsewhere. Where there's plenty of room, as you can see in the video. This is his own private property with plenty of room to park his semi-truck and trailer. It's not bothering nobody, as he said in the video. And he's only home for a couple of days. Drivers, have you guys been, have you guys experienced situations like this where you're parked in your own private property and you're getting harassed by officers 
or community officers because your truck is on your property. It's not on the street. It's not bothering nobody. But yet, here's this officer coming up to this gentleman telling him he has to move his truck because somebody called? Who called? That is a very good question. Like, if people is calling you, then I got the right to know who's calling you. What's your name? No, nah, you don't need to know my name. I, I need to know who's calling. If you tell me right now who's calling and who's quote unquote reporting about my truck on my property, then I need, then I'll give you my name. Until then. Yeah, if I keep getting calls every time I Who's call calling you? That, who's well, calling you? What's the complaint? When you can tell me before? who's calling you, then I will tell you who I am. All you need to know is I live here. But of course you know in Georgia, there's nowhere to park. Literally. There's nowhere to park. Like you can't park on the side of the road. You can't park on the ramps. The truck stops are filled to capacity. Truck stops got trucks parking on top of trucks. There's literally just no place to park. I mean, it's not as worse now. Now, it's not as worse as what's going on in the Northeast, up in the Bronx and Manhattan, where the mayor is constantly towing trucks from private, I mean, from areas that deem illegal for semi-trucks to park, which making the drivers come out of their pockets even more because they can't, they, they don't have nowhere to park. Here's this gentleman on his own private domicile with enough space for a truck and trailer. But yet, here's this guy over here hassling him because he can't park there. I'm, I'm in agreement with, with the gentleman. What about you guys? What about you guys? What's your stance on it? Have you been in a situation that an officer or anybody else has come and asked you to move your truck off your property? Now, there's been situations for me because I live in a residential area, but next door to me is a field where I can park my, my, my truck, my tractor, not my trailer. I mean, well, I, I could get my trailer in there if I wanted to, but no, <laughs> no, it's just my, just, just my tractor. That's all. I mean, like when it's snowing, you know, I, I, you know, I won't be able to park it in my field because when it's snow, it's kind of hard for me to get out of it. You know, that's understandable. But when I park it on the street, I don't have that much problems. I mean, I do have, you know, 5-0 that rolls up and down the street. And I guess when they feel like not doing anything, they'll come over and, you know, put a ticket on my truck because no commercial vehicle as big as mine can park on a residential street. Now I had, I'd say maybe in my trucking career, I had two issues and that was it. Two issues. Uh, the first issue was I was parking my truck across the street at the abandoned house. I was literally in my truck you know, getting ready to, you know, call it a day when the cops actually pulled up and told me that I was not allowed to park, you know, in the, in, in the driveway of the abandoned house. And I go, why? Because it's an abandoned house. And uh, no arguments. Okay, no problem. I moved my truck across the street, put it up in my field. And like I said, the second time was, you know, I actually got a ticket. It was like $25 or something like that. I paid it. No big deal. But here is a gentleman that's, that, that got the space that can literally park his truck and trailer, and he's getting harassed by this, I mean, by the guy. 
and I, again, wholeheartedly, let me know in the comments below, I agree with the gentleman. Yo, pay my parking and I'll move. Every day y'all don't pay for my truck to be parked somewhere else, it's going to be parked here because I can park here for free. I will move. I will, I, I will move if you decide to pay for my parking. No problem. I will move. I will move. And I will pay. And if you pay for my parking, I will move. So let's jump into the comments, man. I know the comments on this video is crazy. Let's go. The first commenter says, I'm in Rex. They do this shit to me all the time. This commenter says, he's a working man. Leave him alone. Exactly. Exactly. Why? I mean, we, why, why are we penalized? I don't understand it. I, I'm trying to understand why are we penalized? You know, we, we, I'm not even going to go into the trope. You guys hear it all the time. But why are we penalized, though? This commenter says, I'm cracking up at the officer in the background, minding his merry old business as he should. Yes, the officers in the background didn't say nothing. I mean, they was just, I guess they was there just to provide support because the young man had a, had a firearm and he has a concealed carry. So I guess the police was just there for emotional damage. Emotional damage. This commenter says, if there's no homeowners association, the complaints are without merit. Exactly. I mean, if nobody in the cul-de-sac is complaining, like from the homeowners association, then why are you over there being, uh, being bothered by this young man's vehicles in his yard? Other people call and complaining. Complaining about what? Complaining about what? I need to know who's complaining. This commenter says he was speechless. Yeah, at the end of the video, yeah, he couldn't, he, he didn't have no more to say. Literally, literally, he, he should have just got in his truck and went on his merry way. This commenter says, we can't have boats in our driveway where we live. Yeah, I, I remember back in the day, my granddad, he used to have this big old boat that he usually parked in his, in, his, in his yard. Like my granddad had a huge backyard. I mean, he had dump trucks back there. He had boats back there. I mean, his yard, I mean, if you could put a semi back there, I think you could have put a semi in his backyard too. And this last comment says, great job, dude. So glad you stood your ground and spoke your mind. I appreciate your hard work, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There's people out there do appreciate what we do, at least a handful of you. And I do appreciate the fact that you guys appreciate us. Not that many people give us praise or attaboys or high fives. It's more so we're, we're a burden, you know? We're a burden to you guys on the highways. We're a burden to you because we're, we're holding you up to get to work where, when you supposed to already got up early to go to work. We are a burden to you. But yet, before I get out of here, when COVID strike and shut the whole world down, who was still out there providing service? I'm just gonna leave that right here. Big cheese got it locked, boy.